Hey everybody. So what I've got here is about 15 pounds of soft plastics. Um, my buddy Jose ended up uh, dropping these off. Uh, he ended up buying a lot off of a old charter captain who was retiring. So he kept some stuff, but all the soft plastics, he just doesn't fish as much. So he ended up dropping them off to me. I give him a lot of fish that I catch. So it's kind of a trade off. But I need to start getting rid of some of this stuff. <laughs> so as you can see here, just a ton of stuff. I mean, it really started about, I don't know, a few months ago, I, I got a bunch of these from him already and I started really smashing them, the fish with them, especially these guys. These and then the gold, they just resemble the pilchard. So I know these work excellent. They're one of my go-to uh, soft plastic baits, but I've also got these little bit larger ones, different colors. Yeah, just different to offset colors. A lot of curly tails, got some more gold. Bunch of jig heads. Uh, more curly tails, orange, greens, pinks. These are those more blue and white, uh, larger ones. Got this dude, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that one. That'll be a good challenge to catch something off of that. But just tons of different varieties, some sabikis, a lot of miscellaneous stuff, small grubs. So I need to get rid of these and start catching some fish with it. As you can see, there is a lot of it. Eh, these are different. I actually had some of these before. Good bottom jigs for a grouper. I haven't even dug down to the bottom of these yet. Those are probably gone. Man, just so much stuff. Ah, you can make great little casting with these. Put a um, egg sinker with a wire and then they have the egg sinker tucked in there with the hook sticking out and then you could just use these to cast out into those bait schools. But, so, I need to work these. The only issue that I had is that I'm interested in really is these guys. And these are a little bit larger than those little pilchard uh, looking ones that I had been using, which are really perfect because they really match the size. But these little bit larger ones, the problem with these I had is I didn't have a hook size large enough to facilitate using these. They're that perfect dimensions, and what I really want to do is to use these offshore, a little bit bigger bait, I think will really do really well. Not that I did catch a bunch of stuff, tunas and stuff with these, but I think even a little bit bigger profile might work really well. So I ended up, and this is what I ended up ordering, and I got in that last video. So these are some 6 aught weighted jig heads in a one ounce and a half ounce. So as you can see there. And those are gonna be a little bit better mate for these jig heads than the ones that I was using. So they'll butt right along there. The one ounce, I'm probably gonna use them a little bit on the bottom. I, I need probably a two ounce to get uh, more effective bouncing along the bottom. But what I'm thinking of using them as for is trolling. So I could have two rods out, one with a one, one ounce head on it, and then one with a half ounce so that they'll be at different uh, heights in the water columns and be able to utilize them that way. And then just run them doubles. And that'll be my trolling jig. So that's what I think I'm gonna try today, if it stops raining, is to get out and do a little blind trolling and seize these soft plastics in these uh, little jig heads to see what we can do to start alleviating some of this overly plastic. And then I'll probably look for some two and three ounce jig heads um, like we use back in the California side for rockfish. And um, if I can get some more of those, then I could use those for uh, bottom bouncing some of these bigger plastics as well. The smaller ones will just be little fun ones like uh, thrown into the bait balls and stuff like the jacks that I caught that last video and I could just keep pitching those and they get eaten up, no big deal. 
The only thing I don't like about these is that they are extremely fine wire for what I'm doing in salt water. Um, as you can see, these, these are definitely not any 2X, 3X heavy duty wire uh, hooks, and that might be an issue. I'm primarily fun fishing, so I don't really not worried about it, but bouncing these along the bottom and getting into some grouper or uh, muttons and stuff like that, I don't think these hooks will last. But we'll check it out. They were cheap. I think I ended up paying uh, 20 bucks for them plus $6 shipping, and I got 20 and 20, so not a bad deal. Uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. Otherwise, I could use them for inshore, smaller stuff. But anyways, that is the plan for the day. I'm going to go out and see if I could do a little bit of trolling out there if the weather holds off for me. Oh, I could use these for bottom. That might work out. And then uh, put some soft plastic grubs on the end of them and bounce those. So that might be useful. So anyways, that's the plan. So let's get going. Oh, yeah. Also, just the mailman just dropped this off. So you'll get to see this in an upcoming video as well. Ugh. Bam! Waffle maker. Lobsters and waffles. Gotta be coming up. I need to be able to get out there. It's just the water's been so dirty. So hopefully in the next day or two, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, and then it gets blown out again. So we'll have to see how it goes. But uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully those lobsters are still around and I can get me some lobster and waffles. Hey everybody. So we are out here at just outside the reef. It's a bit of a blustery day today. Uh, not what the uh, forecast suggested would be, but I ended up just uh, saying screw it and making it out of here. Took about an hour and a half just to get out to five miles or whatever. But uh, a little bit white cappy, decent breeze, but it's supposed to get worse later on in the evening. So wanted to just try to get out here, get some fish and get out of here if I can. So we're gonna be using these uh, new jig heads. So this is the half ounce. I figured because there's gonna be low light, kind of murky water, I'll try to use something with uh, any bit of color and contrast. So instead of just the all solid kind of ivory color, I went with this blue and white pattern. You can never really go wrong with that color pattern. And then I've got a chartreuse on the half ounce head. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably just do some slow trolling around first, just to see if there's any activity that way and then keep an eye on my uh, sounder to see if I mark anything along the bottom worthwhile where maybe I'll go back to it and uh, try to jig with it. I played with them a little bit. The uh, one ounce is still not strong enough to drop strictly vertical, uh, even at uh, 60 foot where I'm at right now, especially with the wind and current. But I think that'll be enough for the trolling to keep them at different depths. And uh, so we'll see how it goes. Hey, 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 just like rock fishing in California, yay, it works, look at all those teepers. You can make it down, gotta try, there you go, didn't get skunked. And it worked like a charm, just need something a bit bigger. <laughs> Alright, we got something here. This one hit that. This one hit that green chartreuse one. Stay on, baby. 
hooks don't bend. Ah, big old yellowtail. Oh no, oh no. Man, nice yellowtail. Look at that bruiser yellowtail. Holy moly. Jeez, look at that guy. Oh, Jamalis. <laughs> oh, no, you're bleeding. So, this is on the green. Damn it. How are you bleeding? I don't know why you're bleeding. Man! What a yellow tail! Drift in the reef, baby! Bruce Yellowtail. Woo! Got him on the green chartreuse with the uh, half ounce jig head. Alright, I'm calling it. <laughs> it's just not the best conditions out here today to try the, the plastic game. Uh, caught a couple, got that little grouper, got that nice flag yellowtail, so that's good. Um, I did troll with them a, a little bit, and those jig heads are going to work out really well. They keep them just perfectly centered and then just swimming really nicely. And with the different ranges based on that half ounce and the one ounce, so I think they'll work out really well. I think I could use them for bottom bouncing as well during not so windy, uh, fast current like this. Uh, it just gets them spread out too fast and I can't really do much with it. So uh, we'll stick a pin in this and come back to it down the road when I have a little bit better condition. But otherwise, I am heading in, calling it a day. So uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.